My name is Sam Slaughter, the food and drink editor here at The Manual, and today we are going to show you how to cook a whole ham. Whether you want it for a party, a holiday, anything like that, a whole ham is a great way to fill people's bellies with piggy piggy goodness with only a little bit of work involved. The first thing you're going to want to do is place your ham out, fat side up, and score it. One about an inch apart and make a diamond pattern. Once you finish scoring, you're going to want to leave it out at room temperature for a half hour. While you're letting your ham rest, you're going to want to set your oven to 325 degrees so that once the half hour has passed, you can pop it right in the oven. Once you put it in the oven, you're going to want to set your timer for about two and a half hours and let the first part of the cook start. At that time is when you'll put the glaze on. To make a glaze, you can really use whatever you want. For us, we are doing a citrusy sort of thing, so you notice we've got orange juice, we've got pineapple juice, we've got maraschino cherry juice, and on top of that, on our dry side, we've got brown sugar, nutmeg, cloves, and a little bit of black pepper. Once you've mixed all of your glazed ingredients, you're gonna to wanna to put them on the stove top over medium high heat and let it cook down for a while so that you've reduced to about three quarters of what you started with. For this video, we're using a Korobuta ham from Snake River Farms. The Korobuta is Japanese for black hog and refers to the heritage breed that the pig is, the Berkshire pig. Our ham is a whopping 19 pounds, so it's going to take a while to cook. Uh, a good tip would be roughly 20 minutes per pound. Once your ham hits an internal temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit, it's done. All you need to do then is take it out, let it sit for about a half hour, and then carve it and serve it. 